All right, so this, what's come next is, is basically a theorem, but the theorem uh, encompasses the properties of the coarse product. Um, given, let's say, we have three vectors, A, B, uh, and, and C, um, vectors in R3, in, uh, actually, vectors in V3, right, three-dimensional vectors, and, and uh, let's do C, D, um, a real constant. And those, of course, are scalar constant. Okay, then uh, we have the following properties. Um, first of all, A cross uh, B is not commutative. Uh, it's, if you change the order, then it will be negative B cross A. So what does it mean? It means that if you follow the, uh, if you follow the, uh, the right-hand rule and you do A cross B, uh, and A, A and B are on a, on a horizontal plane, then Z will point upward, it will be vertical. But if you do B cross A, where A and B are horizontal, then C will point in the negative Z direction, will, be, will point downwards, and that's the meaning of it. And that's true if you rotate the axis. So A cross B gives you uh, C in, in one direction, B cross A will give you C in the opposite direction. Okay, two. <clears throat> if you have a scalar or a constant C multiplying uh, or scaling vector A, and you cross it with B, then uh, this, uh, this, the constant is associative. So uh, it will be C multiplying the uh, vector A cross B, or you can write it, if you choose to do so, is the vector A across multiplying the vector, the scale vector C, B, like so. Some sort of a distributive property. If the vector A is cross multiply with the sum of two vectors B plus C, like so, then when you distribute it, it will be uh, A cross B plus A cross C. So you have uh, distributive of, uh, of a product over addition. <coughs> Property number four gives you the following. It's very similar to property number three, but what happens if the vector, if you have a sum of vector, then you cross multiply it uh, by another vector. So uh, we move this vector, the single vector, to the right. Uh, here, let me show you. Take the quantity of the vector A cross B, okay, as a quantity, and then you cross it one again, once again. Uh, actually, this is a sum, not not a cross. Select the sum of the vectors a and b, and cross multiply it by vector c on the right. So we distribute it in a similar manner. So it will be a cross c plus uh, b cross c, like so. So basically, three and four show you that you can distribute from either direction. Um, five. Five is an important property, and uh, you'll see it in uh, in a little bit. It's called a scalar triple product. Scalar triple product. So you have a dot, and then you have the cross product b cross c. Okay, so you have triple vectors, but uh, you have dot product multiply the result of a cross product, and the parentheses tell you that you do first the cross product. So what is the outcome of this thing? Well, 
uh, we can write it as a cross b dot product c like so okay so here we'll write uh, this is um, the uh, scalar triple product and it has some significance so is the last property six where we have a vector triple product uh, and you can imagine that what it means that we take A and we cross product it with the vector that is the result of B cross C okay. so what is this outcome the vector uh, triple product well turn out it is the dot product the quantity that or the scalar that is the result of the dot product of A and B so remember this is the dot product so this is a scalar and we multiplied uh, this scalar by the vector B so we scale vector B and then we subtract uh, the dot product let's see this is I'm sorry this is A dot C A dot C and multiplying the vector B minus the dot product a dot b like so again this is a scalar at this point and a scalar scale vector c okay so if you have the triple the triple uh, the vector triple product notice that the result is a difference of two vectors All right, so this is the property. These are the properties, I should say. <laughs>